Looking absolutely beautiful, but fitting a moment like this. And we love this from within the industry. We know where we are headed, and it makes us excited, almost as excited as this beautiful Ferrari Red. Yes, this is a gorgeous car, but there is one man who was designed to drive it. Kurt Conrad. Buddy, the fact that we had to push it in here just to keep the engine quiet so that we could do TV, that in itself is awesome. Man, it is a feisty machine. It's a tiny V8, but enough to wake the dead, bro. And we will, we will do that. Um, absolutely love the vintage sports car. There is a lot of heart and emotion in this. Fill us in, why is this gorgeous car that has kind of stopped the show about five times now so that everyone can leave and go and look at it and sit and make it dirty? And why have you brought this little baby here for Man, us? I've, I've changed vocation just a little bit, right? So um, I've become a car auctioneer as well. Woo! And on the 18th of March, I'm out with the guys from Creative Rides and this will be on the block. So you can buy this. Get out. Get... A true story, bro. And he, you know, he had no facial hair when he came out here this morning, literally, and he touched the car and it just, it just came. Yeah, that's, uh, I summoned Tom Selleck and Magnum PI. This is the exact car it, you used it, to drive. I know, and it is beautiful. You're normally going nowhere slowly yeah. or going somewhere slowly. <laughs> wink, wink, showing our age. Um, what is it about motorsport and this space that makes you so excited? Where, the car, where did the car version Come out the petrol head. Most people don't know this, but I have been a car head my whole life. And um, I've got an Instagram page now called Kurt Loves Cars, and this will feature on there. Ooh. And it's all about the vintage car. You know, things like this, for example, it's, it's, it's visceral. It's more than just thinking. It's how it makes you feel. Yeah. It just feels right. It clicks all the... The, it ticks all the boxes. I absolutely love driving vintage cars. Bro. Um, and there was something about what they represented at that time. You know, yeah. we had like a, a out of the box ninja Kawasaki here yesterday that looked yeah. like something out of an anime. And I would imagine in, in the 80s, yeah. presumably this would have been exactly that. But there was something about the, the purest oh, element yeah. of yeah, the inertia. There is something about a big engine like this, man. Well, I, th I think what happened was in the past, um, designers were kind of given carte blanche and they represented a theory or a theme at the time from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and then CAD, auto CAD came in. <laughs> then it seems like all the cars look the same right now. If you take the badges off a lot of yeah. the time, you can't tell which cars were. This is always going to be a Ferrari. Even if you take the prancing horse off it, the design is um, Pina Farina. Of and it's just absolutely... Quintessential, it yeah. It is, it's quintessential. Everything about it is quintessential. And of course, it's nostalgic as well, because we remember it, you know, with our... With our uh, age, well, it, yeah. it might be in our DNA, <laughs> to be <laughs> quite honest. This, this is the colour of our blood. It's Indeed. this red. That yeah. being said, who's going to take this car? Who is this car for in this world of crazy motoring enthusiasts? Man, I, th I think there are buyers for this kind of car everywhere on the planet. Those same guys that were loving Magnum PI in the, <laughs> in the 80s, for example, our age, who have now gone on to make the, the, the bucks that they have. Yeah. There's a big demand for this kind of thing. Listen, they've only produced something like 2,000 of them in the world, you know, sure. like 1,700. Oh, no, sorry, no, let me... Uh, slightly more. But they didn't produce them in huge numbers. Yes. So they're always going to get a premium value to them simply because they're not making new ones. Yeah. And um, the value is just going to go north. They come with a the lifetime, time. a lifetime of colour infused into that. Yeah. How, much? Well, How much do you think my, she's going to get? This is a good 2 million rand, give and take a bit. Um, somewhere between uh, 1.5 and 2 million rand. This, is one in, this example is in a pretty good nick. Uh, it's been taken care of. It's got a full service history. It's got all the bells and whistles you could... It's, it's small. It's considered a small V8. Yeah. It's a 3.2 litre V8. And of course, there's only like five people in the whole world that can afford to drive something like this yeah. with the fuel prices. And they don't live here. <laughs> they don't live here. So uh, no. hopefully we're going to have some international visitors. Now, I mean, I can understand the why. And, you, and there is something about you. You, you kind of have used food to tell culture. Yes. You've used so many different ways. A car is a great, great oh. way to talk about a nation, to talk about a person. Exactly. And exactly. it's so funny what we can find. Talk us through Kurt Love's cars and the comedic fuel yeah. that comes out of something like this, bro. Man, for, for years and years now, um, cars have been a great investment. Yeah. So they, they, it's a good blue chip investment. They go up, not every car is, it gets to be valuable, but certain 
choice ones that have got a great demand. This is a great example a of that. A Mazda 3 to 3. A Mazda 3 to 3. Mustard maybe yellow. Maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. 1982 <laughs> is where we used to refer to them as rust buckets, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, so Kurt Love's cars is literally just an expression of my love for cars and just wanting to be in touch with this kind of thing. I would consider this a great way to spend the rest of my life. For Driving sure. cool cars, having lacquer chats about it, and meeting people who build, sell, and invest in them. Um, and it, it does speak to a very positive notion of where we are right now. Yep. And I love the aspirational elements. I'm thinking of a mate of mine, Jamie, who is reliving all of his childhood memories now, yep. literally getting the car, fitting it out, just like our, our matchbox cars when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. Literally, there is something beautiful. And the motoring space is changing dramatically oh, right immensely. now. Would you feature and drive an electric car? That's a good question. <laughs> well, I think it's become such a normal part of, uh, of our existence at the moment. And of course, just with the Formula E just coming through our town as well. I think there's a place for it in the universe. I don't, personally, I don't like paddles and electric cars myself. I like a good old gear shift in my hand. I want that feeling, that vibe. It that just feels sound. great. You know? Oh, the okay. sound. Uh, we, enough foreplay. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's get in the car, my friend. <laughs> let's show it. Um, and we, we dampened the sound. Um, it's time to let us sing. All right. Hello, love. How's it going in here? And I'm looking at these buttons. Oh, these no, knobs no. must have been game changers back in the day. Man, um, this is stereotypically Ferrari from the 70s. Um, 80, sorry. It's slotted gear lever over there. Check that out. That is just the bomb. And it's like and, a flying uh, jet. Uh, uh, Oh, I oh, love it. I'm not going to start. Um, and uh, we are in just the perfect vein, okay, for yep. a comedic turn. We're not going to start this <laughs> engine right now because I have a feeling people are going to fall over in their chairs. Um, it is beautiful. I think, you know, I, I started my rider yesterday that I need to come into every yeah. show on the back of a Kawasaki Ninja. <laughs> I think I have to leave every show from now on in a 328, um, and that's it. And you've got to be driving it, my friend. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> we can't imagine us going down the freeway at about 400 oh, k's per hour. Our hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Kurt loves cars. Where can we see you? How can we connect, my bro? Instagram, YouTube, Kurt Loves Cars. Just click, follow, like, subscribe. We are, are going nowhere slowly, no more. We are going there very, very fast. Love it. Oh, she's so pretty, man. <laughs>